Hello, and welcome to part... 28! Fucking, I wanted, I wanted to say finale, but we're not quite done yet. Not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna fight, we're gonna fight Gary, I think. Is this Gary's room, or is this Lance's? No, this is Lance. <laughs> Yeah. We fucked up twice already, and we're not even a minute in. <laughs> Look, I mean, do you have any idea how long it's been since I've recorded it, this as of this point? Do you realize I've never played this game before? <laughs> yeah, so shut up. <laughs> this is the Dragon Tamer, and this is... This is oh, so me and Yu-Gi-Oh? This is not a fun... <laughs> dragon <laughs> capture jar, and it's all over. <laughs> My whole team is dragons. Sorry, Brad? Isn't this the one you can abuse with, like, the agility BS? Uh, yeah, with his, uh, for his, uh, dragon one of his Dragonites. This is Good the guy one. with three Dragonites? Yeah, this is the guy with three Dragonites. <laughs> <laughs> because there's, like, no dragon types. Wah, wah. Yeah. But yeah, it's like one of his Dragonites has a psychic move, which is agility, so if you throw out a Pokemon that's weak to psychic, he'll just spam agility until he has no more PP. And that mm -hmm. has a lot of PP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it takes a. It's kind of funny because you can send out something really low leveled and event and take him as long as they can, you know, do it in forty turns. They could at least bring him down to half that best. No, I don't know. I think maybe they have like two hundred health each, so. This is off the top I'm... of my head. I, I I haven't actually looked at any of the gym leaders' Pokemon stats. But yeah, luckily my uh my Blastoise has Blizzard for some reason. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works, man. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't realize that how balanced of a team I had actually made until after I had finished the game and I thought about it a bit more and thought about how I never really had any particular problems with ex ex with the exception of like one type in particular. Yeah, it's like same though. <laughs> in the one I'm playing. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, there's only like three dragon types, the poor guy. There's only three dragon types and they're all the dra the Dratini line. Poor guy. And then he has Gyarados because reasons. Because Gyarados is supposed to be water dragon, but water dragon is a bullshit type. So that didn't happen. Why? Hmm? Why is it bullshit type? Um, are you aware of what weaknesses Water Dragon type has? Unfortunately, not. I don't have. I could probably math it out in my head if I really wanted to think about it. But Gen One. Yeah. The Water Dragon type would literally only be weak to Dragon. <laughs> nice. And the only Dragon type move dragon. in this game is Dragon Breath, which is a set power move. Nice. So he would have had literally no weaknesses at all. <laughs> Nice! And you know that he's extremely fast with extremely high damage, too. My so, god. That's the reason that Gyarados was not Water Dragon, despite very clearly being a dragon. <laughs> so what is he now? Water Flying. Ah. Uh, wait, Flying? What? What? Gyarados can fly? Yeah. Can you, give him, can you teach him fly and ride the Gyarados around? Yes, he can. My god! <laughs> That's that's, that's so funnier weird. than the, that's funnier than the fact that you can teach Pidgey fly and just like hop on it. Whee! Hop on a tiny bird. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I remember this one comic I read was uh, it was uh, teaching a halucha fly. Yeah. And the guy taught him fly. And he's like, okay, we gotta go to this town. And then the halucha just grabs him underneath his shoulders, screams its name, and then full on suplexes him across the planet. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, there isn't too much to say left. I mean, he's got Durgans and Shock. Durgan and Ice. That's all you got. It's all you can do against him. And I didn't bother grabbing a Durgan. Uh, like I said, the only Dragon type move in Gen One is Dragon Breath. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it from my memory too. Isn't Hyper Beam normal? So yeah, yeah. So it's just Dragon Breath then. 
It's always kind of weird seeing a, seeing a Pokemon that you, that's a specific type, and then they use a move that they're actually weak to. Mm -hmm. Like, in the natural game, it's not so weird on a randomizer, but like, Dratini here using Ice Beam, it's like, why do you have that? Why can you use that without hurting your mouth? So Wizard Harry. <laughs> I don't know. Insert that one thing from Emperor's New Groove, where he's like, "You got me." By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, but this dragon, I this dragon air sweeping my whole team. <laughs> <laughs> How to get bent? One on one. It's a good thing I have like 99 revives. Balanced. Never give up. <laughs> oh no, what was the shark? Man, if only items were allowed in competitive battle. It's a good thing they aren't, dude. <laughs> That'd be so broken. So, the, the matches would go on for literal eons. Yeah. Unless you could one-shot somebody, there would be, like, zero killing them. <laughs> Even if you could one-shot somebody, would you actually kill them? Revive. Another one. Think of all. Oh, think of the I'm max back. revives you can get in the game. Yeah. Think of the max That'd revives you can hack in. That'd be so obnoxious. God damn. Action replay. God damn. Please no. Hey. Oh hey, hey yeah you, you, you're a person here huh? Yeah sorry someone who I haven't seen in two years from Winnipeg came to say hi so. Oh yeah that's kind of important. Way to yeah. blow them off for us. Just, just for a couple minutes. It wasn't too bad. You didn't blow them off for us? I'm offended. <laughs> you know what? I didn't overextend <laughs> the conversation and kept talking. I kept it brief and such. But it's someone you haven't talked to forever. You should have talked to them. <laughs> you can't win, apparently. She hit a beer down here. <laughs> what? She took a beer out of her purse and tucked it in a corner, and she said, "Shit's for your mom." And I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't question it. By someone I haven't seen, I mean my mom's age, but I get along with her. Huh. But yeah, all you missed was one Pokemon sweeping my entire team. Jesus, that happens a lot, actually. Not this one. It was a. Uh, it was. It was the last guy. Last guy? Yeah. Maybe I can go pan over and see what kind I, of... Ice type. That that, oh, that was the type I couldn't deal with. That, now I remember. That thing that we were talking about. Yeah. Stuff with. Like well, glaring because, weakness. Because when you left, it was one of them, and then when you came back, it was the other. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. I don't know why I keep trying <laughs> to let Dezel take this guy. I mean... Isn't he, uh, isn't he Dragon Ground? That guy? Uh, no, rock flying. Exactly, so like, why am I... Why is he here? <laughs> Dazzle? No, Aerodactyl. That's an even better question. <laughs> you're not Dragon, and you're not a Dragonite, so what are you doing here? <laughs> well, you know, Dazzle was the good matchup, he is weak to electric. Uh, yeah, but he has rock. True. Well, rock isn't super effective on... Electric. Only ground does. Oh, oh. So unless they had Earthquake, you were good. But... Why do I just send out the fully healed Blastoise? That's too easy. <laughs> Man, that's my favorite part of Gen 1, is when the sound effects glitch oh, out and don't play. you fucking did damage to it. I did- I, I completely wiped it out and paralyzed it in one shot, essentially. Nice. It took you a bit, though. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm not exactly good at this game. I don't I don't ever claim to be good at Pokemon. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your job. And then I proceed to back it up by sweeping people's teams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm surprised that I accidentally put a, put together a team this good. Just by grabbing Pokemon I liked. <laughs> I don't, e well, I don't even know why I have Furo. <laughs> well, you needed something for flying. Yeah, Furo was my first flying type Pokemon I ever caught, and I just, I loved that, so... 
I've always had a thing for Firo since then. I like Spiro. I think Firo... Well, I mean, Spiro was the first one I caught, but, you know, it evolved. <laughs> yeah. But it's always kind of weird to me, thinking about, like, yeah. but... uh, how Firo, or Spiro evolves into Firo. Yeah. It's like, that is quite oh, the way. Also, why does Dragonite here have a Thunder-type move? Use the Thunderbolt! Maybe he taught it to him using a TM. Uh. Oh, so let's, uh... Yeah, so, like, we don't... Saying that Spiro yeah, is the first one I caught, that's also pointing out the fact that playing Leaf Green, I went all the way to that point not running into a single Pidgey. Hmm. That's pretty impressive, y not gonna lie. Yeah. So... Maybe you just failed to catch it. And that's, like, times. all the way to Cerulean. God damn. Yeah. That is some luck. Well, I, I know, I know, Chantel, for a fact that I did not see a single Pidgey on my way there. I remember no. that, because I remember replaying the game, running into Pidgey and going, Oh, that's where you're supposed to be. Ah. Uh. <laughs> because I saw it in the anime, and I'm like, Well, Spiro is logically the first one you run into, right? There should be, like, tons of Spiro just outside. <laughs> That you were, uh... <laughs> well, I, I kept running into Rattata. I'm like, you're not a wild Pokemon. You're only supposed to be owned. <laughs> okay. Pretty cool. I basically saw Rattata and went, You're with the bad guys! <laughs> My guy. <laughs> Five-year-old you. <laughs> Is that the same one that was, like, named Scary Oak Buttface? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did that too. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and I was like 15 when I first played Leaf Green, so. I think. That doesn't tell you something. Yeah, no, I think I named him Gary because, you know, anime. Anime! <laughs> it, was the only, it was the only show I really actually watched. <laughs> I like the Eevee episode. Any sort of episode with Eevee was great. Anyways, we have a fight against, against our rival here for the last time. Yeah, I saw him. And this this is where I realized that hey, I made a I made a fairly balanced team. I actually did good for once. Hey. Was during You're this not fight. Complete shit. Hey, yeah, we're right here at the end. Also, that Alakazam though. Alakazam. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I feel. Yeah, but like I, like I said, afterward, I think maybe it's this fight that I finally realized, hey, I can take this thing down with with uh, Earthquake, no problems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alakazam is super weak to physical attacks. <laughs> yeah, but I, like, I tried literally everything else on this guy before that, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> Just sitting there spamming recover. And then you missed fly. Yeah, That's uh... True. I, that's the worst part, because then you waste two turns. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why, I always had a thing for like, fly and dive and, you know, and bounce, the two turn moves. I think they're pretty cool. Well, I don't know why, but I always felt that they should be more powerful. <laughs> I think they should be. But yeah, it's like, here's where I realized that, hey, look. Kanji will wreck it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, didn't, didn't realize that, that would actually be a good idea until now. <laughs> also, he's still gonna spam recover, so that's great. Hey, that's not very good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, I think it's very tedious. that's not as bad as, like, at the beginning of, uh, Hard Gold and Full Silver. Uh, what's it called, uh, Roost. His Pidgeot has Roost. For the first gym. I feel dead. Roost is enough to recover all your HP at that point. Is it? Yeah, pretty much. I could have sworn it was half health. It was pretty much... It might be half health, I don't know. I mean, I don't really pay attention, but the thing is, is that I'm not doing half his health in a single turn, so... Yeah. 
That's the struggle, dude. Hey! Making hell. Another recover. He gets back up. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah. This was just luck, the fact that I didn't bother even trying Foosh on the Alakazam. Hmm. <laughs> Fucking missed Fire Blast. Ten. Uh, at least Executor is pretty not useful. Not at all, I don't know why he has him. He's a tank, that's all he is. Yeah. Barrage? Yeah. I've never even heard of that one. Well, you gotta remember, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't know that move. What, what was it? Beat up? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know about that until you mentioned it before. And that move that sounds... actually pretty good. Yeah, that move sounds hilarious, though. <laughs> yeah. Like concept Foul play wise. is also pretty hilarious. <laughs> it's like, oh, what's that? You're sending out something with high attack? What a shame. <laughs> yeah, I hope they, uh, I hope for beat up in, like, in the new generations, they actually show you sending out all your Pokemon for that. <laughs> Have you ever seen, um, Assist? Uh, it literally just pulls a random move yeah, from someone on your team. That's, that's always funny. <laughs> Let me tell you, seeing a Meowstic, or uh, the the one before Meowstic, Esper, seeing an Esper use Oblivion Wing is fucking beautiful. <laughs> well, what's really great is using that move, and then that move uses Metronome. Oh god. <laughs> Which in turn Double uses R. something yeah. else. <laughs> then that uses, like, Explosion and just kills him. <laughs> uh... But yeah, with with Foosh's dying words, I decided I'd pick everyone else up because it turns out Foosh not that useful <laughs> for a Charizard. Yeah, not really. You'd think a Charizard would be a little better. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, in this gen, he was still pretty meh. <laughs> but everyone loved him. Everyone loves him anyway. He's a fucking dragon. It's like, oh, this thing's so cool. But like, I honestly, I I picked Blastoise my first run through this. You are among the minority. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it's like Bulbasaur just seemed lame to me, and I was like, Charmander isn't as cool as everyone says he is. Meanwhile, every Gen Water is just like screaming mutiny. <laughs> well, I mean, look, you take that Charmander, and you try to beat Barak. And then you try to beat Misty. It's not Andy fun. <laughs> yeah. That's the real struggle. Yeah, because by the time I got my hands on Leaf Green, I had Sapphire, and I understood the basic mechanics, and I knew Brock came first, so... <laughs> ah, yes. I mean, you know how people jokingly fill their master balls at weak Pokemon to upset people? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're what? They're, oh, with... Yeah. Has anyone ever yeah. tried to throw a ma- has ever- has anyone ever to upset people throwing a master ball at a, uh, at a trainer's Pokemon? <laughs> so you that literally really get awesome. nothing. My god. I should totally- I mean, like, <laughs> if you're using a master ball on, like, a Magikarp, at least you might get a Gyarados out of it eventually. Look, there's only two absolutely worst uses for the Master Ball. Using it on a on a trainer's Pokemon, and the equivalent, using it on a Bidoof. So... Oi, <laughs> talk shit about Bidoof. <laughs> <laughs> God, see, we got some hardcore Bidoof fans outside. <laughs> yeah, you wanna fight my Bidoof? You don't wanna fight my Bidoof, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> look, I don't- I, look, I wanna fight your Bidoof, not your Bibarel. Yeah, you can fight my Badoo. Oh shit. I will sweep your entire team with it. <laughs> just the one. I don't know. Gen 4 was that one where I just kind of hacked in a lot of legendary Pokemon and a lot of rare candies, so... <laughs> I don't even care, dude. <laughs> I, I kind of want to show you this after recording, I'm not gonna what, lie. What, do you have that much faith in your Badoo? Yes. <laughs> oh my I god. I legitimately do. I wish there was a way I could see. 
Holy shit, like really though? Yeah, I don't... really. I'm not I'm not joking. Okay, yeah. I, I'm Where's actually the Bidoof? I have swept teams with Bidoof. <laughs> <laughs> what? People sleep on the Bidoof, dude. <laughs> I mean it's not Bidoof. good. But it's workable. <laughs> And the fact that I have gotten it to work and taken people's teams down is just like upset people greatly. <laughs> like without evolving it, or have you evolved it? Yeah, without it evolving. Honestly, to me, Bidoof is more useful than Bibarel. That Bibarel, Bibarel. My God. And with that tangent, we have defeated our rival and hey. become the champion. <laughs> Why did I lose? Oh, you're the new league champ. Well, you should get good. Didn't run enough circles. Uh, yeah, scary. Uh, have you have you tried getting good? <laughs> Might be the solution you're looking for. Yeah. And if there's two cables, I always grab the wrong one. So yeah, this has been a rather eventful playthrough. <laughs> Spend the first half with David there, and the second half with Brady instead. Hello, I'm David. <laughs> Insert jokes. <laughs> Joke. Hey. <laughs> jokes. What the hell is that? You can tell. That's what you fucking want? No, please. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Why? The Bidoof with sunglasses. The deal with it sunglasses. <laughs> Bidoof. I love it. Ah. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I guess it does kind of help that Bidoof can kind of, you know, learn any type. Eh, that's not what I use it for. Oh. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. Oh boy. Assuming I can find my cartridge for X. <laughs> uh, where are you? And the Smash Bros. There it is. <laughs> Jolteon! Yeah. Dizzle. The, yeah. Hall of, the Hall of Fame part always gets me really hyped, because I like seeing my Pokémon from the forward side. Yeah. <laughs> Even it's though cool. it's the exact same sprite you'd see if you were fighting them normally. <laughs> it's still pretty cool, though. Yeah. And then there's you. <laughs> Scene 127, own 22. Pokédex rating, get good. <laughs> <laughs> Try to catch other species. <laughs> But yeah, and that's Pokemon Yellow, but we're not done yet. Uh, we have one more part of this game, and that will... Well, we got some loose ends to tie up, and we'll get to that. But what are we going to be doing? Chantel? Huh? You don't even know the answer to that. Do you? I, I don't. Yeah, that's what I thought. I actually so don't. Question. So you're going you're gonna to leave it. You're going to leave it, and you're going to see. You're going to see. I can just go watch it now. No, you can't. You're right, I gotta wait a week. Yeah, exactly. You gotta wait like everyone else. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if I put a proper ending into the last part, so let's uh, get it out of the way now. Um. Thoughts? <laughs> I mean. Uh, I have no thoughts. Pokemon. Rage. <laughs> I have no thoughts till I see what happens next. Pokemon. You get my thoughts next week. I started with Gen 3, so I mean. This, I started with X. This was very, so very. I have no right. This was very bare bones to me, and the only real problem I had with it, though, for sure, was the fact that critical was based on speed. Was based on speed. Yeah. And yeah. that was personally, I'm not a big fan of the gen, but well, that's where it all started. Yeah, so I, I know. can't disrespect it too much. Well, I can't. Yeah, exactly. I can't hate it too much, but I mean, I really think Gen Oneers should really. It, Calm their shit? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, there's a few of those at my school, and they upset me greatly. Anyways, Chantel, thought? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do not think. <laughs> it was right, but, like, I don't know. I've only played X. That's a Pokemon. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Alright, well... See you next time. <laughs> Should